All right, I have typed out my text that I need for the recipe of the month exercise, which is a column exercise. And I want to uh, get going on this. One of the things I said on the handout was to leave a blank line uh, after hummus, and I'm going to show you why. It was because I asked to use the bottom border to put a line under there, <laughs> not this one, uh, and sometimes it's, it's difficult to get past this line if you press your down arrow key or your right arrow key. You can't get past it, and the way that you can is just to double-click. Um, but whether you put it in or not, in the end, I'm not, I don't have an enter there. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to put my border on here. Now I get that big thick line. I can just change that by going in and telling it, uh, what I would like. Solid, uh, black is good, and... I didn't tell you what. I'm just I'm going to put uh, two and a quarter points on there, and then just click on this preview and say OK, and I have my line. I'm going to select everything that I typed, and I am going to go to the Layout tab and go to Columns. And I'm going to go to more columns because I want this choice, which is going to give me a skinny little column on the for the first column and a wider column for the left, and say OK. Now, because I have a full page here, there's tons of room. The column continues all down this side. So we're going to have to help the program know that we want this, the ingredient or the uh, methodology here to start at the top of column two. So I'm going to insert a break here, a column break. Okay, it adds everything up there. Now I said to make these 14, and I said to make these 12. And once I do that, usually this word wraps. And it isn't happening to me, so I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger. Just enough so that it wraps. Because this is what you have to deal with. Actually, you know what? I'm going to undo that. And I'm going to put my numbers on. And that is going to force it to wrap. And then I'm going to put it back to 14, which is what it should be for you. And we get this little wrap here. And how we can fix that is to go back in to columns. And we're going to be looking at this little gutter here between these columns, this white section. And this number is that value for the gutter. And so if I make it smaller, and you can see it getting smaller on the preview if you look here, if I make that smaller and say OK, you can see it did the trick. Now necessary is all on one line. So that's all good. I do notice that on the handout, these ones uh, go farther down on the page. And of course, you need to, need to do a little bit of formatting up here, which you can do. But in order to uh, spread these apart, I am going to come to the Paragraph Settings dialog box. I am going to take this check off, because right now, Word is treating all this list, this entire list, and putting this eight points at the end of the list as this 
space after line seven. If we take this check off, what happens is this paragraph spacing is going to be put in between each one of these numbered items. So I'll say OK, and that spreads that out. And I think, other than doing a little bit of formatting here, oh, I know what I need to do. I need to put a right tab here, and I happen to have one here in my selector. So I will click it here, and I have a tab there. If I don't like the position, of course, you can change it around a little bit. And that's looking good. If your uh, section breaks aren't exactly where mine are, don't worry about it. It's just getting it to look uh, similar to my example. And don't get hung up on, on where those are exactly as long as everything looks close.